if you have been finding a way to get a script or hold a website, uh, a carrier website, a logistic website that has a tracking page, that whenever you create a tracking um, password or groups, your client receives email. Then um, whenever you make changes, take for instance, um, you change the status of the password, um, the client should receive a, an email notification. Then um, this video is for you. Hi, this is Len with Omatech. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can install this very script. Now in this script, it has email functionality. Now what is email functionality? So meaning whenever you create a password for your clients to track, they receive an email notification. Now, whenever you make changes to it, they will receive an email notification also. So if you, if you create it, they receive an email notification. If you, um, track it or if you change the direction of the password, they also receive an email notification. So, um, if you stay with me to the end of this tutorial, you should be able to install this very script alongside with the email functionality. So stay with me and um, if you know you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, if you are new to this channel, please encourage us by smashing the subscribe button and turning on the bell notification so that you, you'll be first to receive notification whenever we release educative video like this. So without wasting our time, let's move straight to our C panel. I have logged into my C panel, so I'm just going to click file manager here. Then I'll locate my domain name and I'm going to upload my script. So I'm going to locate my domain name. This is my domain name. Then I'm going to upload my script. All right. So I'll click on upload and I'll make selection to my script and I'm going to upload. All right. I have uploaded my script and I have extracted it. As you can see, I've extracted it. So the next thing I'm going to create my database. So I'll come to this place. I'll type database and I'll you know, click on my SQL databases. I'm going to um, create a database right now. So I'm going to call this um, carrier. Then I'm going to create. Then I'll go back and I'll go to user. I'm going to call it carrier also. Then I'll generate auto generate password for it like this. And I'll save the password and I'll click. I have done this. Then I'll do that. Then I'll click on create user. Then once I create user, I'm still going to click back. Now I'm going to assign privilege to my users. I will select my carrier user and database and I'll click on add. Then once I'm done, I'm going to click on all privilege and I click on make changes. All right. So once I'm done, I'll go back to my C panel. Yeah. I'll come to my C panel and I'll click on db.php because we need to connect our um, database. I'll click on db.php, then I'll connect my database here. Um, then I'll put my password and everything here. So once I'm done, I'm just going to click on save. So you need to replace this with your database username and this one with your database name and this one with your password. So once you are done, you come back to this place. You look, you look at this database. You make sure you download this database here. Make sure to download that database, then come back to your um this place here and you type php then you scroll down to php my admin then you allow it for it to load and we need to upload that file all right so i'm just going to um click on this my database i just created and i'm going to click on import then i'm going to click on choose so i'm going to select that down, um database that i just downloaded i think this is it then i'll just click on it and i'll click on import once i'm done importing the site is ready the site is ready so once the site is ready we are going to check our site to see how um, it looks like if we got everything just like the demo we did so i'm just going to go to a new tab and i'll type this and i'll put dot slash an which is my um folder domain so as you can see we've got exactly what we have here this is the original site now this is what we just installed so everything works uh good so now how do you log into admin you just click here and you type slash admin here and you log into your admin dashboard so uh username is admin and my password 
now this is my admin dashboard so this is how the admin dashboard looks like it is very simple um you can create tracking ad shipment your account and your setting so the next thing is for us to set our email so that we can be receiving notification and the email is very simple so just come to your email the um the name of the um, email um notification so when you get a notification the title should be here let's call this career um script then from where you need to put let's say from um let's say um inquire at some this then um do you want to send mail when you create a new tracking yes do you want to send me when tracking update yes then you click on save like this you have created and you have saved your what your email um setting so you can come to general setting you change the name of the site here um the site title and the site url so this site url will be this so i'm just going to copy this as the site url i'll just save it here and make it like this so you need to make sure that the site is correct the site url is correct and everything is working perfectly so to do that you can even go to your database and you come to setting and check if your site url is correct so as you can see our site url is correct so the next thing let's try and create a a, a parcel so you click on add tracking then auto then it automatically generates a tracking number for you then you click um sender name let's say omatech um receiver name then once you are done just click on add here immediately it goes the receiver is going to receive an email notification that this new tracking added successfully once you click ok the receiver is going to receive an email notification and from here you can see everything here so you can decide to update now if you try to view let's try to view um the parcel you'll see that there is no um fee attached so let's try and see if we can attach a fee there let's copy this to another place and see if we can attach a fee there then let's copy the tracking code let's go and track it and see um let's click on track then let's try and track um this very parcel we just created like i said i've already received the email address so let's see if we can update it let's see if we can update it now this is it the logo will appear the barcode will appear and everything so now this is um the package image and everything so now there is map there now it comes with a map also that's a good part of it if you display the location of the map and you can as well print a receipt now if you print receipt it's going to download the receipt for you so let's edit the package and let's add um the payment fee there so from status it will be maybe um maybe on pickup current location maybe canada date let's choose a date here uh maybe 21 then the time let's make it on um, this this pm now the charge for delivery maybe 500 dollars total amount maybe 1000 dollars then you can just add anything and you click update now immediately you click this update the user is going to receive an email notification again remember when you create they will receive an email notification when you update they will receive an email notification so if they still go back to try and um um re recheck their delivery everything will be there everything will be there so even while you 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 print receipt everything will be there so let's check the receipt and see how this very receipt looks like um the receipt is going to appear like this so this person is the one collecting it they look at the invoice date and the amount this is the what the person is paying and everything so this is how this very system works. If you found value in this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that you'll be first to see our videos. And uh, now please, if you need this script, you know how we always do it. Our uh, WhatsApp contact is below this video and on the comment section. Just send us a message on WhatsApp and this script is yours automatically. So this is a very precise and a very straightforward script and it's classic. So just send us a DM and we're going to give you this script at a friendly and a comfortable price.